autism spectrum disorder, ASD, is a prevalent neurodevelopmental disorder with no medical treatment established for its core symptoms. Although previous literature have shown temporal positive effects of single dose administration of intranasal oxytocin in experimental settings, it is still controversial whether such potential beneficial responses can yield clinically beneficial effects after continual intervention, which is impeding further development of medications for this developmental disorder. To address this situation, here in the University of Tokyo Hospital in Japan, we performed the randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled crossover trial in 20 high-functioning adult males with ASD. In this trial, we assessed the clinical effects of six-week continual administration of oxytocin using autism diagnostic observation scale, ADOS, a gold standard diagnostic tool of ASD, which recently has been increasingly adopted as a primary outcome in ASD-related trials. The EDOS consists of a standardized activity that allows the examiner to observe the occurrence or non-occurrence of behaviors that have been identified as ASD symptoms. The, the EDOS provides a score of three domains, social responsibility, communication, and the repetitive restricted behavior. The primary outcome of the current trial was the changes in ADAS between baseline and administration endpoints. ADAS was administrated by four trained examiners. To minimize interrater variability, the same certified administrator of ADAS, in this case I, rated the old ADAS scores based on recorded videos. These ratings were conducted blindly on condition of the pharmacological interventions. Data obtained from 80 participants who completed this trial shown that six-week oxytocin administration significantly improved autistic symptoms related to social reciprocity. Next to explore the biological basis of this clinically beneficial effect, we examined oxytocin-induced changes in intrinsic functional coordination in medial prefrontal cortex, whose activity has been atypically reduced in ASD individuals in a previous case control study. As a result, we found that this new peptide significantly increased the resting state functional connectivity between the dorsal medial prefrontal cortex and anterior cingulate cortex. Notably, this improvement of the intrinsic functional connectivity was significantly correlated with the clinical effect measured by ADOS. Furthermore, we quantitatively compare the effect of the continual oxytocin administration with those seen in single-dose oxytocin intervention. For this purpose, we measured behavioral and neural responses to the same social psychological task as when used in our previous single dose trial. And consequently, we found that this long and continual administration did not always magnify the effect size seen in the single dose intervention, which might have made it difficult for previous long term trials to detect significant changes induced by the neuropeptide. The current study, to our best of knowledge, provides the first direct clinical and biological evidence for therapeutic effects of continual oxytocin administration. This research also indicates that we still need to seek the optimal dosing regimen to maximize such effects of continual oxytocin interventions. In fact, to confirm the efficacy and safety observed in this exploratory trial, we are co currently conducting a multi-center, parallel group, placebo-controlled, double-blind, confirmatory trial of continual oxytocin treatment by setting 114 participants as a target sample size, which were estimated based on the effect size on age of social reciprocity of the current exploratory trial. We believe that these studies provide major observations that will stimulate and guide the future development of novel medical treatments for SD.